Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Scottsdale Living Podcast. I have my friend on today, Nelson Brooks from Cabana Boys. And this is going to be a spicy episode because I don't know if you know anything about Cabana Boys, but I didn't. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much (laughs) for having me. Let's get spicy. Yeah, let's get (laughs) spicy. Okay, so Cabana Boys, what is it? Cabana Boys is a party hosting and bartending service. Uh, We're located actually in seven cities across the country, but Scottsdale is our largest. Um, I started the company about four years ago here in Scottsdale. And effectively, what we do is across three of our brands, we'll cater to any type of event. Uh, Cabana Boys is probably our most well-known service where we service bachelorette parties, birthdays, pool parties, themed events, where we have a couple of our guys come serve drinks, be energetic, hype men, help with party games, uh, take pictures, pose in pictures, be Spotify DJ, just be basically like the fun guys at the party. Okay. Uh, Our goal is to serve, pamper, and tastefully entertain. Tastefully entertain. Okay, so this is not an exotic dancer service. It's not. And okay, I get, I get that know. question a lot. And we're adjacent, uh, in it, but we're we are professional and premium. Um, I think the the thing that we have in common is that we take off our shirts. Okay, okay. So Cabana Boys, um, how do you show up? What's it look like? Yeah, so we'll show up for two to four hours. Typically, is our, our a duration of our event. So we our standard package is two guys, two Cabana Boys will show up. They're wearing a crisp white polo, colorful swim trunks, and we get the party started. Um, so it's it's shots, it's drinks, it's anything that the real, because it's a bachelorette party, mm-hmm. uh, anything that the bride really wants, we try to cater to their every need. So it's oftentimes it's games of some type. Maybe it's a, a musical flip cup or a rage cage or whatever they want to play. Sometimes we help out with bride trivia. Uh, oh, we'll, cute. we'll do the the playlist on Spotify. We'll take pictures. We'll make sure that the party area is clean. Take the trash trash out when we leave. Wow. Like, we're really like full service uh-huh. um, just to make their pool party memorable. Um, you know, these girls are paying a lot of money to come to Scottsdale and have a weekend with their friends. And we we aim to be the highlight of that weekend. So we know bachelorette parties are huge here. Yeah. Um, where are these women coming from? Literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Like we get some. We got some Canadians. Okay. That they'll like because we use Venmo for some of our some of our finances, and they're like, we can't use Venmo. Like we're not from the U.S., so oh. that's an issue sometimes. <laughs> but a lot of Midwest, you know, Minnesota, Chicago, Indiana, um, the Northeast, like New England. A lot of girls from New York. A lot of girls from California. I mean, it's literally everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we've, I remember one party a long time ago, the girl, the maid of honor flew in from London. Like it's, it's, wow. it's crazy. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So you said a bunch of other states, you're not just in Scottsdale. Where else are you located? Yep. So we're in Scottsdale is our main location, but we're in Palm Springs in LA. Makes sense. We're also in Austin and Nashville. We're called the cocktail cowboys there. <laughs> and well, the- can you get cowboys out here? Uh, we'll put on some cowboy hats here okay. and there, but, um, upon request. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then in, uh, Savannah, Georgia and Charleston, South Carolina, we're called the cocktail boys. Okay. So very, very similar service. Uh, just a little bit of a different theme because of like the nature of that each individual market. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now you're not just cabana boys. You have other companies because this was so su- wildly successful during COVID. Because you said you started like four years yeah. ago, right? Yeah, we started in August 2020. Okay. I was actually, um, I was unemployed at the time, but just recently because I was working for a hospitality. Conveniently right? unemployed. I was working for a <laughs> hospitality company and COVID hit. And they're like, hey, we don't need you anymore. So I was unemployed. My friend from Texas was in town uh, for a bachelorette party. She's like, hey, there's uh, like 12 girls here at our Airbnb. Do you want to come hang out? I was like, yes, I'll be there soon. I was single at the time. And, um, so I brought one of my buddies with me and, and there was two other guys there that were friends of the maid of honor and she had just paid them like 50 bucks just to hang out and serve drinks. Oh my and I was gosh. like, is this like what you guys do full time? Like, no, we're just friends. And I was like, there's something here. Like uh-huh. I've always had like an entrepreneurial mind. Like I had an event planning company when I, when I lived in Texas and I just love like creating memories and building things. And I was like, oh, I feel like this could this could be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I spun it up the next day and I thought it would be cool, but I didn't like, I didn't know have, what it could I didn't, be. I didn't have a job at the time, so I didn't quit it, but, but I got it, ended up getting another job, uh, like full time. And, you know, I, I spent a lot of nights and weekends building it up. 
uh, but it just really like snowballed. And so that led to me, I was actually at uh, Waste Management last year, 2023. And I was like, man, we got to do something drastic to expand. So like, okay, let's do Cabana Girls. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was like, at Waste Management, I was just like surrounded by thousands and thousands of 28-year-old dudes. Uh-huh. I was like, somebody needs to service this customer. And so Cabana Girls was born out of that. Um, and so we've got a team of about 25 girls here. Very similar service, a little bit different model and where we'll have three girls come plus one Cabana Boy. And the Cabana Boy is not only a male presence, but also a party starter, bartender, like helps out kind of organize the party. And so we serve boys trips, bachelor parties, golf trips, birthdays, those types of things. Okay, I like that actually. Like the protective sense of your employees essentially to make sure that it's fun but yeah. they're also protected and feeling comfortable and nobody's asking them to do anything completely inappropriate exactly and it's i've been really like pleased with our customers honestly like we haven't had any issues mm-hmm. and you know that may be different if that cabana boy wasn't there i don't know but mm-hmm. we we don't say hey he's security i mean but right. he is a male presence he is there to add to the party mm-hmm. and like contribute and allow the customer to spend more time with our girls too mm-hmm. Um, so it's really more so a value add than like a deterrent. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's been a really fun experience to now be able to serve both of those customer groups. Very cool. Yeah. What's like the biggest or coolest, most unique party you've ever like hosted? Yeah. Um, one that was a little bit outside the norm, but we we did an event. Uh, it was December of two years ago. It was at a dealership in Central Phoenix um, and it was called Off the Record. Um, big fundraiser for Phoenix Children's Hospital. And they asked us to dress in like cowboy gear. Oh, cool. And there's probably like 900 people there. Uh, Tyler Hubbard from Florida Georgia Line performed. Um, We had like 10 of our guys there. So that was definitely the biggest event we've done here locally. Um, But outside of that, we'll do, you know, influencer events and nobody like real, real famous has (laughs) booked us. But, you know, people will have a few million followers on Instagram and that's kind of fun. Well, don't famous people just use a pseudonym anyway? Yeah. You mean like you're not taking photos with like Snoop Dogg or anything? We've heard like, I think Patrick Mahomes' wife was at one of our parties one time. Like we hear about that kind of stuff, um, which is, which is cool. I wish that we'd get a little bit more like a shout out here and there. Yeah, that's (laughs) cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, um, so you're totally everything is experienced for like Instagram worthy presence, uh, ideal look. I have a question. So if someone wants to get hired, are they hired as like a model then? Or like, you know, what what does that look like? Yeah. So our hiring process is is not that different from a company. And they go through several rounds of interviews, background check, you know, all the whole nine yards. Um, we are obviously, we're looking for a very specific type of person, right? We call ourselves model bartenders. So mm-hmm. we do have that going for us. Uh, we... <laughs> We do need. We've got that going for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we do. You know, looks are important, uh, uh-huh. just to call it like it is. But it's not just about looks. We do want more than a pretty face. Because mm-hmm. um, if somebody's super hot but they're super dull, they're not going to provide a good customer experience. So you know, personality, charisma, being personable and fun, and be able to throw a good party and read a room and like all those kind of soft skills are super super important. Like I'd mm-hmm. rather have a 10 in those categories who looks like a seven than the other way around. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that one with a 10 foot pole, <laughs> but I believe you know what you're doing. Yeah. So you're scaling these businesses. You have cabana boys, you have cabana girls. Um, are they, they're also serving drinks or is that a separate, completely separate thing? So yeah, I mean, at, at our core, we're a bartending company. Okay. Um, so all of our people are trained bartenders. Some oh, have cool. more experience than others. Um, some of them have no experience when they come in, but we train them up. Mm-hmm. Um, but we did launch a brand called the Cocktail Crew, which is uh, was born out of seasonality. We had about 88% of our parties were, were happening March through October. And I was like, okay, well, what happens there, you know, November through February? Mm-hmm. And in the winter... It's holiday parties, right? So we spun up this brand called The Cocktail Crew. And it's much more professional. We keep our clothes on. (laughs) like, And we can service any type of event. So it's weddings, it's holiday parties, corporate events, retirement parties. We still do bachelor and bachelorette parties. But for those types of customers that don't want the shirtless guy, um, they just want a good charismatic person. And our bar for those employees is they do have to have at least a couple of years of real bartending experience. Mm -hmm. So it's we do have place more of an emphasis on the drinks too. 
Do they do the flipping? Not and... quite like flair bartending, okay. <laughs> but definitely <laughs> cool. like, you know, if you ask them to make an old fashioned, they know how to do it. You okay. Know? Yeah. Perfect. Um, I know a secret. Well, I don't know if it's a secret, but I know a secret about you. Uh, I heard that you met your wife through this company. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Shout Can out, you tell? Brittany. Um, tell the details. Yeah. So it was, it was our ninth party ever. Um, at the time I was working parties and, uh, you know, at the time we didn't have text messaging systems and booking systems. It was just me on my phone, basically. Right. And so this person reached out to me, it was her, her friend, Alex, and um, she's like, hey, I want to surprise my bridesmaids with a cabana boy party. Can you like make it happen? I was like, it was actually on a Friday and I had a full-time job. I was like, oh, man, okay. She's like, there's 18 of us. We're from Florida. We're super fun and hot. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I like skipped out of work. Yeah, I was working remote, so they don't know. I don't work for them anymore, so whatever. <laughs> uh, and me and Cole, who's still with the company, uh, we went up to this North Scottsdale house and big, big place, had a lazy river and putt putt, you oh, know, cool. golf green, basketball court, really nice. At a house. Really nice place. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, I didn't really notice her initially. Like there's 18 of them there. They're all good looking girls. And so, you know, I noticed her, but it wasn't like, I wasn't like zeroed in on her. And we, put together a relay race for the girls and it was, you know, nine on nine and they did flip cup and then hit, you know, a little golf shot and made a basket in the basketball hoop and then like went down a water slide and then they just went all through. It was super fun. But after that, they're like, hey, you and Cole should go against each other. Okay. I was like, all right. They're like, the, the winner gets to kiss Brittany. I was like, all right, who's Brittany? And my now wife like oh my raised gosh. her hand. And I was like, all right, Cole, you're going down, buddy. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I, I beat Cole and he claims to this day that he was sandbagging. He let me win because oh he, he didn't want to beat his boss. But I don't know. I think I did, <laughs> I did pretty well. But I just gave her a little peck. It wasn't like anything crazy. You and know, like dip her, do the whole. No, it was flip. just we. So we have our first kiss on camera, which is kind of crazy. Cute. Um, and she was from Florida. And she like came back out a couple weeks later. And we did long distance for about a year. And and got engaged. And now we've been married for about five and a half months. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Love. Pretty, pretty good story. I mean, if the business fails tomorrow, at least I got that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I love that. That's so cute. Better <laughs> than match.com. Much better. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I love it. Yeah. My, uh, my buddy, Ross, he's my, who's best, best man in my wedding. In his best man speech, he's like, Nelson, you're the only guy that would meet his wife at a party that he was paid to be at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you put it that way. True. Yeah. <laughs> Mark one Nelson. Yeah. Okay. So um, what's up with the Airbnb parties? I know like Scottsdale has this huge crackdown on like, well, Airbnb is number one, like yeah. short-term rentals. But uh, how are you guys managing to make sure neighbors aren't really annoyed with you? There's a couple ways. Um, Primarily, our team is trained on what to do in that situation. If, to be frank, like it's not us making the noise. It, I will admit, it can be our presence that uh -huh. produces the noise where the girls get really excited, but it's the girls that are <laughs> making <laughs> the noise. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Got it. But it's not us yelling, right? Uh -huh. um, but our, our team is trained like, hey, if there's a neighbor that's upset or, you know, a noise complaint or something like that, they know what to do. We also have something called our good neighbor promise. Like I'm super, super sensitive to what goes on at these parties and the new noise that it can produce. I live in a neighborhood just like the parties where we serve. Like there's mm -hmm. an Airbnb literally right behind me and three doors down from me. So I get it. Um, but the reality is, is like, we are providing a good experience for them and we're not there to be a nuisance. And so if we have a good neighbor hot hotline. So if there is an issue, somebody can text or call us right away and we'll jump on it as soon as possible. Nice. Um, we're only there for two or three hours typically. So it's not like, and it's during the daytime, you know, people book us from two to four o'clock. So it's not like we're waking up people in the middle of the night usually. So, uh, but then we also have a party bus as well. Um, so if somebody, if there's an Airbnb that doesn't allow outside vendors, vendors for whatever reason, they can book our party bus and they can cruise around Old Town, go to some of our partner bars where they'll get special discounts and perks and that kind of stuff. So you still get the Cabana Boys experience just in a little bit of a different environment. I love it. Sounds very entertaining. So you've got everything covered. You got bartending, you have 
good looking people that are hosting this amazing party for you. Yeah. There's not anybody left out. And clearly it is nonstop entertainment. It's super fun. Yeah. And I mean, professional. I, it's professional. Yeah. I mean, it's there's a little bit of flirtation involved, right? But like it's not we don't cross a line in that mm-hmm. way. Um, it's professional. It's premium. We have a really good time. I like personally, just one of my like personal beliefs is life is really short and you need to build memories with the people that are around you. And that's part of the reason why I started the business is I, I want to help people create memories and have fun. And uh, I feel like we've done that. I love it. I think that that's a wildly successful business that you've created it happened just like that overnight. Thank goodness you were open to the opportunity that was presented to you when you felt like doors were probably closed. That's true. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. You know, I was like, like I said before, I was unemployed and uh, it just, it, it, not that it fell on my lap, but like it, it was a door that was cracked open and I walked through it, so. I say for every closed door, if there's five open, we just have to look for them. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It really is that. So good job for your entrepreneurial spirit. Thank you. And a great job building a great three successful businesses. Oh, you know what? I have a great question for you. Yeah. Why aren't you in Vegas? That's a great question. And uh, we will be eventually. The thing about Vegas is, is there are not nearly as many Airbnbs there. Oh, it's all hotels it's and all hotel hotels. pool parties, exactly. et cetera. And so like we can do hotels, but we can't do the, the pool at the hotel uh, just because we're, I mean, you could. We, we could go with them, mm-hmm. right? But we're not going to be able to like serve drinks and like make the drinks there. But if they just wanted like two good looking dudes to like be in their entourage, like yeah. I have like five ideas for you right now. <laughs> I'm not going to say them on here. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, well, that's so cool. And I'm, I'm really uh, excited that you get to present this, that one, your employees are not exotic dancers. These are <laughs> professional party hosts that absolutely keep the party alive and going. Yeah. I think that that's really cool. And it, it establishes a completely different presence than when people kind of hear about something like this. And I think that it's really important to be protecting, you know, people that you're sending out into the community. Yeah. Um, I hire a massage therapist and I field a lot of very strange phone calls. I'm sure. And so um, I'm not a massage therapist and I would never put my employee in a situation where they would feel uncomfortable. So happy to say no, yeah. right? And I think it's important to have, um, like, you know, you have obviously policies to help even neighbors yeah. feel comfortable with you guys being there. And I love that you came up with solution-based strategies. So yeah, thank you. Good job. Way to forward think. And your company sounds awesome. Thank you. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. It's Hope to see you at a party soon. Let, hey, book us. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, oh, you know what? How do people get up? Hang on. Let me leave that back. Just running through shit. So Nelson, how do people get a hold of you? Yeah. So the best way to find us is at cabana-boys.com. Uh, you can find our cabana girls there as well. Cocktail crew is cocktail-crew.com. And then on social media, it's at the cabana boys, at your cabana girls, and at cocktail crew bartending. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, you bet. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. Well, that has been today's episode of the Scottsdale Living Podcast. We will see you again soon.